Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> Can't open this with my bare hands. Not enough. That's how much. Never enough coffee. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my, <laughs> I mean our float, will be the belle of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. You. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Coffee Mike was passed off. You have a guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Oh, that puppy pie. Don't take your mind off things. I can't open this with my bare hands. I can't force it open. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Cogent Lake last night? 
I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. I mean, they were shouting, cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found them. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. I told you not to keep that thing, Tammy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing you. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful awful thing happened to your baby girl how are you um i'm sorry who are you i don't know what you're talking about it's me silly rose you know me i don't think i do and what horrible thing happened to my baby girl she drowned your daughter so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. 
Deer fest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. 